Hey guys, Shaber1000 here. Today, we're going to try to see what's wrong with this clock that was given to me. I put a battery in it and I noticed it's not working right. Uh, I do know that something was dropped or dropped on it. That's how the glass got broke. So, let's take this apart and see if we can find out what's going on with it. Okay guys, so what we're going to do, I changed the battery, I'm going to take this back off of here. Set this over here, monkey's got some stuff up there. Alright. So I know this is a good battery. Stop, start. Um, so let's pull, let's pull this out of here. We're going to start by removing the hands if we can. I've never had one of these clear apart before. I've replaced them, but I've never had them clear apart. So, this is going to be a first for me here, as in taking it clear, clear apart. I'm going to take these hands off. Uh, let me grab a little pair of pliers. And this one just pulls off. I'm going to put this back on. Well, I'll set it up over there. Hope I don't lose it. Now, I'm just going to reach in the back of here. I'm going to hold that nut, and I'm going to spin the clock out of it. There we go, to loosen it up. And there's a little washer there. We don't want to lose any of these parts. So I have got them setting on this right here now I'm going to move this clock out of the way now we're going to check this and see what is going on with it they say you can fix them but this is a tiny tiny deal here um, I know you can't hear it, but it is running. I can hear it clicking, but... That's not moving. Well, it is, but it's... Like there's nothing there. But I do hear it clicking, so... Let me get set down here. I'll see if I can get you a better view. And... We'll take this thing apart. Okay guys, I forgot to hit record. Anyway, I took this apart. All it does is just clip in. It's just got two clips, one on each side there. Uh, someone's got a third one right back here by the battery compartment. But as you can see here, this happens to be the problem. Look, it's actually falling apart in my hand. So, look at that. I don't know if I've got I've got another clock but I don't know if it's like this one but I'm gonna go get it look at all that that's it's just uh, crumbling apart those are all teeth from that thing so let me go see if I if the other one if that other clock I've got has got the same the same thing uh, same kind of setup and we'll see if we can't fix this one or maybe fix the other one and we'll go from there so hang tight now, as you guys can see this is totally let me back you out here totally a different style clock big time so uh, I 
don't know what kind of battery. I don't know if that's a, if this is supposed to take a C battery. But it's a 1.5 volt, which that's what this is. So we can put it in and check it. And it does seem to be working. See that in there? Somewhat. Okay, well, let me... All right, let's let's just go ahead and take this one apart. Well, I don't know if my hands will even fit on this one. Let's find out. No, and it will not. And I'm missing the second hand off of this clock here. I mean, here's that hand will work. That's the hour hand. I don't know if the minute hand will fit. Here's the minute hand. So if I put this in here, let's go ahead and clean this off first. And I'm running low on uh, memory card again, memory space again. So I'm going to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clean these contacts up and get some memory on my card and we'll go from there, okay? Okay guys, so I don't know if you can see inside there. It seems to be moving. This is pretty, is a pretty elaborate setup on this one. This thing, it's even got, you can turn up and down to slow it slow it down or speed it up and the hands will fit and I got the second hand to fit on here now I gotta do is figure out what um, what battery this takes I don't know if it's a C cell or what but we'll have to see get it alright so let's get this put in the clock and see and we'll time it and see if it works, okay? Let me go get the clock down here. And I'll be right back with you. I'm going to take the battery out of it. Yeah, because see that? That just looks to me like it's, uh, it doesn't say, it just says Japan and 1.5 volts down in the bottom. But this is a 1.5 volt battery. So, you know, it might be a C battery, I'm guessing. But, um... Anyway, let's get this put in our clock. Let's make sure if it's about the same distance. I don't know if it'll fit, but let's see, okay? Let's, I'm going to bring the clock over and we'll find out. Okay. I don't know if this is going to need this part or not because seeing how it's a different clock, but let's go ahead and put this in here. See if it'll fit. Oh, that fits nice. Okay, now let's stand it up here. Alright. Now, we're going to put our washer on. Okay, we can't use that washer. Okay, so, let's see. We're going to take this and put this on here. We can't use that other washer because it's too small. This is a bigger shaft, so a monkey message in me. Oh, can't scare close this. You guys can't see nothing again. All right, All right we're gonna put this on. Just like that there. Now, we're going to put on the hands, okay, we're going to put on the hour hand, we're going to put on the minute hand, which I'm going to have to put that little nut on it. 
to hold that. Once I get it on here. Okay. Now here's this thing is tiny guys. How little that thing is. It does have a slot cut in it, but it's a different size, but I'm hoping, yeah, I think that that will hold it. Now let's put our second hand on. All right. Now I'm going to reach around here and we'll put this battery in here. Whoops. And it should be working. Okay. It is. Now, let's let this set for, say, I don't know, what do you think? Let's let it set for five minutes and see if it's going to work. If it works good, then we'll know it's working. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys, so let's see how well it does. I think I might have started it a little late. Yeah, it's pretty close. Yeah, it's pretty much on the money. All right, 26. Yeah, it's right on the money, guys. So we didn't actually fix the clock, but we did. <laughs> what we did was we didn't fix the old clock innards. But we did fix the clock by putting a different uh, clock unit in it. So there's a lot of things I want to do on this clock, guys. What I want to do is I want to put some nice uh, shellac or something on here. I want to leave all the imperfections in it. I want to leave the little nicks and dings. And I want to put some glass in it. Now I thought about, see what you guys think of this. Putting some, excuse me. I got my pop in the way. Putting some LED lights in here, maybe around the, the door frame or something, but I thought about putting some LED lights in around maybe the edges because you won't be able to see the edges uh, that well. So I thought about putting some LED lights in there and uh, maybe something up here on the top right there, like a little knob or something. What do you guys think? So. I think that's what I'm going to do with it, but we did get it fixed, so I'm going to go hang it back up in the garage for now, and I'll keep checking on it, but I think it's going to be okay. I do think it needs a C, a C cell battery, but you know that's working for now, and that's what I'm going to use. Monkey's picking me up some C, belt, C cell batteries for another project I may do this evening, so it seems to be working good. seems to be... Uh, keeping time pretty good so I'm going to set the time and we'll hang it up in the garage and let it run for a couple days and make sure it's going to run alright if not I'll, I'll get me um, I'll get me the clock you know the the motor and stuff you can buy these real cheap online you can buy them anywhere pretty much but you gotta make sure it's you know cause these 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 can be different shit you know it's falling apart on me as we speak but you know uh, the hands where the hands go on they could be different but if I can get one with some nice hands like that I'll just change the whole thing out and use the hands and all but we'll have to see so let me let this I'm gonna go ahead and put this up now and I want to say thanks for watching thanks for joining me in joining in on this and uh, again let me know what you think about this um, there's a little magnet right there that holds this door closed it's like that I don't know why it opens but I guess just for looks but uh, anyway so that's pretty cool but yeah let me know what you think about um, just putting some making this shiny leaving the dings in it and uh, putting some small LED battery powered LED lights in there all right Shea Bear the myth the man legend I'm gone for now guys thanks for watching have a great weekend bye bye